What a Cowboys performance. They take down the New York Giants Sunday night that kind of bled into Monday morning as we sit here filming this. If you like that Cowboys win, then like the video for us right now here on the show. I mean, how can you not like it? How can you not like the video? The Dallas Cowboys in an outcome, I don't think even the most optimistic, most homeristic Cowboys fans had coming. A 40-point shutout. One of the biggest week one shoutouts in NFL history. The offensive numbers don't even look that good, but it didn't matter because the Cowboys were that good. The defense was fantastic. Beyond a Shinkix point, the team was awesome as well. We're going to have some overreactions from this week one matchup, beginning with Super Bowl, baby. It is an overreaction. I am excited, I am pleased. You will never catch me saying the words, uh, it's our blank. I'm not going to say it. You should know what the other word is. I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing it. It's too early for me. I am not going to get extended out over my skis. I am thrilled. I am happy. But I tweeted out before today's game. It's a long season. You know, don't get too upset. Don't get too, uh, you know, bothered. Keep your anxiety for later. What the Cowboys do in September, in October, in November isn't what we're what we need we've seen this team drop 40 points against division rivals in in the regular season I need to see more postseason stuff so I am thrilled I am happy I am not complaining you cannot ask for anything more in a rain-filled ugly game with bad weather whatever I am not upset I am thrilled today I'm also not going to be like, oh, yeah, sorry. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it. I'm not falling for it. I, 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 let's see what happens in December, in January, in February. I do. It's a long year. Let's be patient and see how it all plays out. But, yes, there is plenty of reason coming out of tonight to be confident in this Cowboys football team. So what is your confidence level in the Dallas Cowboys? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end, it's the pinned comment on today's show. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage. Head down there and go vote. I can't believe we're doing overreaction number two, frankly. But I was pumped all throughout the game. I go on social media, people complaining about the quarterback. If you are upset about the way the offense played, about the way the quarterback played, in a 40 to nothing game, please shut up. I'm not trying to be, to be mean, but some tough loves in here. Shut up. Find a new football team. How are you mad? Actual people online mad about, or alleged actual people mad about this performance. How are you mad about 40 to nothing? The Cowboys offense scored on five of their first seven drives. They shut things down in the second half, especially in that fourth quarter. The numbers don't look great. But if you watch the game... How can you be mad? I think people matter are just people who just don't like your quarterback. For whatever reason, whether it be the playoff results, which, okay, fine, but it's a new year. you got to be patient. Other things that you should not factor into your, uh, your performance evaluation, like the numbers do not look great. If your tight ends had caught the football, it would have looked much better. Oh, by the way, you won 40 to nothing. You won the football game in bad weather. I heard for months, Daniel Jones better than Dak Prescott. Daniel Jones sucks. He was, he's never been good. He's never been better than Dak. I don't want to hear it anymore, okay? I'm tired of it. I'm over it. Your quarterback's top 10 guy. The weather was bad. He did not put up great numbers. Did we watch the bad weather games today? Did you watch Joe Burrow? who I love, I think he's the number two quarterback in the NFL. My God, if Dak Prescott put up the Joe Burrow effort, the social media, the reaction from those talking head people would be a nightmare. Dak did not have his best stuff. No, he didn't. No quarterback in the weather had their best stuff today. He didn't need to. He did his job. No turnovers. They scored 40 points. Cool. Take away whatever 13 it was from special teams. And defense, okay, score 27. This offense is the best scoring offense in the NFL 
when Dak has been healthy. I can't believe we're doing this after a 40 nothing win, but the reaction was out there, so I'm doing it. It's overreaction Monday, after all. Please stop. Enjoy your team. Let's have some fun this year. So gray Dak against the Giants. If you want to you know, factor in the weather, maybe a B. You know, there were some missed throws. I mean, you saw all these, like, really ugly passes from Daniel Jones, from the Cooper Rush throw, Burrow, Watson. Like, the weather was bad. Lots of bad throws. Overall, not factoring in the weather, maybe a C plus. It's fine. That's all you need. You didn't need to play hero ball. Be smart with it. Quarterback was. Overreaction number three, you have an elite defense. I mean, probably, yeah, right? I, I, I'm not going to get you know, some of those comparisons out there involving a Chicago team or a Baltimore team, but you have the potential to be the best defense in the NFL. I mean, for, let me read off these stats here, make sure I have them right. Unbelievable effort. Seven sacks tonight for the Dallas Cowboys defense. Should have been eight. The NFL has stolen a sack from Micah Parsons on the bad snap. Should, it, it, that should be a sack. What is it? The quarterback lost the ball and got tackled in the backfield. Sack. Uh, uh, give him the, it should be eight sacks. Two interceptions, a pick six, a blocked field goal touchdown, five forced fumbles. The Giants turned it over three times, and it legitimately could have been seven if the ball bounces the other way. Your defense was awesome. Uh, that was some of the best defensive football. Weather helps them. I'll acknowledge it. Some of the best defensive football I have ever seen. I was trying to go like, who gets the game ball on defense? And I'm like, let's see, who played well tonight? Tank Lawrence, Micah Parsons, Hankins played well, Osa played well, Gilmore played well, uh, Trayvon Diggs played well, thought Van Der Esch played pretty decently, Marquis Bell played well, uh, Wanye Thomas, Damone Clark, Dorrance Armstrong had two sacks, Micah Chauncey Golston played great, like, all the Cowboys' defense was awesome tonight. I, I, I have a very tough time picking one defensive player. I don't know, maybe Micah? Like, Micah was getting double teamed and hit the quarterback a bunch. Maybe Osa was your best? I, I don't know. Uh, everyone was awesome in week one. So answer it for me instead. Best defensive player in NFL week one. Get those comments in the comments section. Name that player who had the best defensive effort in week one. The Cowboys won by 40. So up to 40 jerseys we have to give away. It is the BetUS jersey deal. It is back. Make sure you are paying attention. If you sign up and deposit at least 100 bucks and place a bet at chatsports.com slash bet, use promo code COWBOYS125, two things will happen. BetUS will give you a 125% deposit bonus. If you email us, jersey at chatsports.com, we will get you guys a Cowboys jersey. Now, not every player is available. The big names, Dak and Micah and Lamb are all available. We will need some information. You know, it's BetUS new members only. Can't be a five-year member and try to know it. New years only. We'll need your BetUS account number, screenshot of your first bet, plus like your shipping and jersey and size stuff. So just email us, jersey at chatsports.com, if you want in on the jersey deal. I believe the instant reply of all the info we need is still set up. Just email us, jersey at chatsports.com. Overreaction number four. Turpin is going to be a big part of this offense. I don't know about big, but they used him. I, I remember last year coming to buy. I'm like, all right, buy's over. Cowboys going to get Kevontae Turpin involved on offense. And they never did. They did this week. Five touches for Kevontae Turpin. Two catches, 11 yards, plus a drop. Should have been six. Should have been six touches. Three carries, 14 yards, and a touchdown. Now, uh, my... Uh, my Deuce Vaughn love is that I fear the Cowboys are going to give the Kevontae Turpin touches to Deuce Vaughn. Like, they put him in the backfield. He can't do it every play, but as a gadget player, it's a threat. That's been established. I loved the usage of Turpin. I'm glad the Cowboys are getting him the ball. Makes me happy. Good job, Mike. 
Uh, we will have a live show for you, depending on when you're watching, in a few hours. Hit that sub button right now, youtube.com slash Cowboys TV, live on Mondays, live on Thursdays, and live on game days as well. Uh, this was more of a first kick over reaction, but Brandon Aubrey shanked the first extra point. Hey, it was two of two on field goals for and four or five on extra points. Settled in nicely. Uh, you saw Graham Gano after the block shank his second extra point, even worse than Aubrey. And Gano is like a pretty solid kicker. That might be the weather. Uh, I think that might have been weather related. To miss it that bad is unusual. And with the weather pouring like it was to, or on Monday night or Sunday night, might have been the issue there. So for now, Brandon Aubrey's fine. You know, it was, it was a bad first kick. You don't want to go 80% on extra points. But, you know, seven of, or, uh, six of seven is not the worst. You need better, by the way. But I'm not going to cut Aubrey tonight or tomorrow or whenever. I'll give him more time. Not sold 100%, though, quite yet. 